Welcome to the video, my name is Murray. Today we have two giveaways going and I'm gonna show you how to set up Restream IO onto your account so you can stream to 30 different platforms if that's what you wanna do. I haven't mentioned the second giveaway. I've only told you about one giveaway in the Discord because we just hit 1000 members there uh, just a couple of weeks ago and I'm honestly blown away. There's new faces every day. It's pretty amazing to see you guys. I get to connect with you so everything is just going dark. My light is freaking out. It's been great to connect with you guys and also just go back and forth on what's working with streaming and editing, visual effects, building your brand as well. So if you're interested, feel free to join the Discord. There's gonna be giveaways down there as well, like there has been in the past. But the second giveaway, I haven't told you about it because we've been doing it behind the scenes. Honestly, there hasn't been a lot of time, especially with, well, let's address the obvious. I'm married now and I couldn't think of anyone else I'd rather spend the rest of my life with than Emma. As cheesy and cliche as that may sound, it, it honestly makes sense. <laughs> but this brings me to another part of the video that I kind of want to address real quick. I haven't posted a video for a while. In fact, it's been about a month since I posted the last video. And before that, that video was queued for almost two weeks because I was on honeymoon at the time. I love creating content on the channel. But as you may have figured, there is a lot coming up that I have to address. So adjusting to the new marriage life, people ask, oh, how's married life? And I'm like, it's just like normal life. Except you have to share a bed. I hate it when she takes up half the bed. But other than that, marriage is great. Honestly, I love it. But recently I've been investing more time in my marriage with Emma and I wouldn't sacrifice anything for it as well as you know having a day job because the youtube channel doesn't make a lot of money and everything that it does make i put it straight back into the channel i don't see a cent of it i haven't seen anything from the channel since 2015 when i started it i always put it back into the channel so i can create bigger and better content for you guys as well as bringing these giveaways otherwise i wouldn't be able to do it because of you guys watching the videos i'm able to do this for the community and be able to give microphones and uh, it allows me to take on partners like Restream to be able to give you guys free subscriptions. Which brings me to the next giveaway that we do have. We have two in this video. The second one is Restream is giving away subscriptions to their site so that you can live stream to multiple different platforms at the same time. So let's say you have a Twitch, YouTube and Facebook account. I'm just going to name the top three. You can stream to all three of them at the same time. So in order to be able to enter into that giveaway, use the link in the description, sign up for restream.io. So what the first place winner gets is a professional plan valued at $41 per month. You get a one year subscription to that. The second place gets the standard plan, which is $16 per month and you also get a one year subscription to that. If you wanna win one of those, enter in the link down below for a chance to win. Make sure you use that link because that's how you are entered into the giveaway. It's all free, sign up for a free account and you can start streaming right away if you want to. As far as the other giveaway, I'm giving away $1,000 in microphone gear because that's what I promised once we hit 1,000 members in Discord. So what we have is four microphones, valued at $250 each. Throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how to enter that giveaway and how to be eligible for it. But, uh, you know, I gotta make you watch the video because watch time. But throughout the video, there's gonna be little tips and tricks in regards to how to use Restream, but also in how you could enter to win a free microphone valued at $250. But without further ado, let's check it out. Restream IO. It's an incredible service and let me first preface this by saying that if you are partnered or a Twitch affiliate, it's not a great idea to use multi-streaming because in Twitch's contract says you cannot stream to another platform at the same time. Keep that in mind. You can stream separately, but if you're partnered, you cannot. You are streaming exclusively to Twitch. Now, if you're just a Twitch affiliate, you cannot multi-stream, so stream at the same time to another platform. Keep that in mind. Now, there are ways to where you can do that. For example, if you're not Twitch affiliate, can do multi-streaming, which means that people can't subscribe to your Twitch channel and they can't give bits, but they can definitely leave a follow and they can definitely subscribe 
to your YouTube channel, assuming you're streaming to that. When you wanna use multi-streaming platforms such as Restream, you will be able to reach a wider audience because you're streaming to multiple platforms. Now, I don't think using a multi-streaming service for an extended period of time is gonna be beneficial. For a short term, yes, a year, maybe two years, get that initial growth. This is especially useful to smaller streamers, as well as people who don't wanna understand the nitty gritty stuff of OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. A little bit more about that because Restream has a great studio where you don't even have to download an application to be able to live stream to your platforms. But if you want to be able to grow maybe twice as fast or even three times as fast if you're streaming on different platforms, this is a great way to go. And then further down the line when you're ready to stream exclusively on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, whatever you want to do, obviously have like two months where you say, hey viewers, I'm going to be streaming exclusively on this platform I'm going to give it two months and then I'm going to switch over exclusively to that and there's going to be no more multi-streaming. That's when you'll be able to actually have an audience to push to one specific platform in order for you to focus on that and not being worried about breaching terms of service. Now, I took a little bit more time to explain that because it's very important and can get some people into a little bit of trouble and then they come yelling at me and they go, why didn't you warn me about this? Well, now you know. Now, let's quickly get into what Restream IO can do. First of all, you can enter one stream key into OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. So you can't multi-stream. That's where Restream comes in. You get a stream key from Restream, put it into your stream software of choice, and you can choose when you want to stream to different platforms you can choose to let's say tonight I only want to stream to one platform just check a box and you won't stream to the other ones the really awesome thing is you can actually also have all of your chats from all the platforms into one chat so you don't have to have three different windows open on your Chrome to be able to see all of your different chats restreams made it extremely easy they've combined it all into one nice thing is is you have a lot of other customizations when it comes to what you see on chat and who you type to when you're typing into your chat. You can choose to send it to all of your chats or just what? What was that at the end? <laughs> Again, it's all made super easy. So even my mom can use it. She calls me off and asking help on how to set up OBS and why her microphone isn't working. I love you, mom. I know you watch these videos and that might not be weird and that might be weird for some people, but this is actually a really good service. You should try it. So I've mentioned all of that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you sign up for Restream, this is the screen that you're going to have. And be sure to use the link down below because that'll get you an entry into the giveaway of a free subscription. Well, obviously there's some default ones here, but let's say you want to add a different channel. So let's just go to add channel. And uh, yeah, there is a ton of them. So let's just add Twitch for now. I'm just going to click on Twitch. I'm gonna click connect. So once it asks for access to your Twitch account, go ahead and authorize it because it needs to be able to stream to the account. You can see here that it's now added to the Restream account. What you can do is you can go to settings and you can use update the title. So update the title. You can choose the category as well, what you're gaming at, and then you can just click save. Now, let's say you have six different platforms here that you're streaming at one time. You can just update the title for all of them. Update the description because YouTube has descriptions and so does Facebook. Facebook. Obviously on Twitch, you don't have descriptions, so that's not going to matter for any Twitch accounts. You can obviously choose gaming content and enter the game. That's pretty cool. They've just added this feature, which is really nice, actually within the time period that I'm actually making this video. Now, when you click update all, obviously it's going to update all, but let's assume you want to add another one. Just go up here, add another channel, and let's assume you want to do YouTube. Okay, and uh, let's connect the YouTube account. Connecting here, instead of doing connecting manually, is going to be a lot easier, so I'd recommend that it will ask for access choose the account that you want and then let's go with this youtube account and let's click allow and then you can choose to set up a stream i'm not going to do that right now because i can always just update the title and description for everything All right so that's a super simple way now how you get this connected with obs is this so first you've got to actually have a stream key in order for obs to stream to restream so that it can send it out to all the different platforms because in obs you can only have one stream key so that's where restream comes in and it sends it out to all of your platforms at once so to find that you can click the profile icon here or you can click the dots icon at the top here and you can just go to settings then go to streaming setup and you can see that there's a key here you can choose to generate new key let's say someone somehow knows your stream 
stream key. By the way, keep this very secret because otherwise someone's going to be able to stream to your account if they have the stream key. So copy your stream key. All right, that's copied. And then when you go ahead and open OBS, which I'm going to do right now. And so then once you're in your streaming software of choice, go to your settings. And then when you go to stream, I'm going to choose custom. You can choose the server or you can choose the stream key. So I'm just going to paste in my stream key, click apply. And now when I do OK and I click live, it's going to go to restream. It's going to send everything to your social media. Now you need to remember that most of the time when you first start up restream, it's going to ask you to automatically configure the bitrate settings and all the other settings on your stream software of choice, which is fine. You can do that with mine. It just did 10,000 bitrate. Now you can't have that for Twitch. Twitch's maximum bitrate right now is 6,000. If you're streaming at 10K bitrate, you're going to have the stream broken or disconnected screen that Twitch has when you're trying to stream to Twitch through restream because you're streaming at 10,000 bitrate. So make sure that in your settings in OBS over here, you go to output and make sure that the maximum is not over 6,000 bitrate. So to enter live studio, you've got the button right here, enter live studio. And already we've got all this. Now, as of right now, I'm having an issue connecting my cam link to the restreams live studio screen here. So right now, as far as I know, it can only pick up USB webcams. I have not tried to use any other capture card or anything else that would substitute a cam link. But what this application can do is incredible. Obviously, like I mentioned, it's completely web based. So if you don't have a powerful computer, this is a great solution. Now, let's just go to the setup here real quick. You can choose your title description. You can turn on and off which channels you want to stream to or you can choose to stream to all of them. Very easy and simple. Now with graphics, this is pretty cool. Uh, my default theme for titles and lower thirds is this one. I like it. You can choose between other ones and you can choose colors. Now you can also choose what logo will show up in your top right in the screen here. You can turn it off or you can choose a full overlay or you can upload your own ones. That's totally cool as well. Nice thing is, is you have a pre counter or like a starting soon screen automatically done for you. Obviously with everything that I mentioned here, you can upload your own. So I'm just going to make sure I choose my webcam. Let's choose advanced settings here. I want to be able to stream in 1080 30 and then you can just show your webcam and there you go. Right now I've just got the Logitech C920 pretty basic face cam. Currently I'm on a certain scene here so if I add a background and let's just go ahead and add a screen and I'm just going to show my recording screen right now because uh, if I show my main screen it's going to duplicate in a weird way. So you can see the buttons here I can turn this on I can see that this is my screen and I've got my background here so I can choose which background I want. That's kind of nice. I like that. You can choose to maximize this screen so it's just that or choose to maximize the other screen and then I can turn that off. I can drag it to the other one so I can make the other one bigger or smaller uh, and <laughs> there's different scenes here. So let's go with this one. Let's say you're talking with someone on a host show. Um, this will be really nice to show the other camera of the person who's talking. Obviously, you can add a button here to invite someone, copy this link, send this link to them. They can open it and they'll be talking with you on screen and they'll show up on the screen as well. You can choose between like a split screen. Let's say you have three people. You can choose this option. I don't have a third source here, so it's not going to show up. You could probably use this screen for gaming and I've done that. It's not exactly ideal when it comes to getting audio from your computer. So the live studio on Restream, this application or it's web based application is not designed for gaming. It's more designed for promoting your content, your product or maybe a radio or talk show host type of thing. That's totally fine. Obviously, you can even have like a, a zoom type of feel here. You can see there's a bunch of different people that will be here and you can switch them around whenever they're talking. And it's very, very neat. So let's assume that you have chat going right now from all of your different chats. It's all going to combine into one single chat. So you can see I've got two different accounts connected here, which is the Twitch account and the YouTube account. I can choose what to post on what account or if I click on the restream, this will post to all of the live platforms that I'm live on. Now, one awesome thing here is if I click on someone's chat, so this is just an example from restream. If I click on this chat, it's going to show up in the bottom of the screen actually on stream. That's pretty crazy. I've used this 
uh, people were pretty pretty psyched about it actually they loved it um nice thing is is under your captions tab here you can pre make different call outs so click it it'll show your social click it again it'll hide it same thing with my title create your own titles here your secondary options one thing that you can't do with obs without a plugin at least is to be able to click on your chat and it to show up on screen maybe you're addressing a viewer's comment or question it's something that you can show everyone hey i'm addressing this or this is a produced stream it looks like it's been done by many other people but it's operated by one person very very streamlined now one other thing i want to mention and show you is you can actually play videos from your computer so if i click on this button here let's go ahead and open video and let's just choose let's just choose this video now obviously you can see this on the youtube channel and i can link it in the top right in the cards over there that side there we go link is up there and when i activate it so capture cards are a little expensive right now or you just don't know which one to get maybe you're on a budget maybe you want to know which one is best or you don't want to satisfy the price gouges well let's take a look you've got the algarcha hd60 <laughs> You've got the video capture HDMI, you've got the Elgato HD60S, and you've got the Camlink 4K. Which one should you use? And is spending $25 actually worth it? Let's check it out. But first, intro. So I'm just showing you some tricks here. Lots of different things you can do live. So let me start out by saying that the Algarta HD60S was a great cap and it still is a great capture card. Usually you would use it to bridge the gap between your main computer and the stream PC so that your stream can see the main computer screen. That's mainly what it's designed for. Now, I do have a video on how to actually use it as a capture card between your camera and into your stream PC or into your just your streaming computer so that you and then when I deactivate this button here to hide it, it pauses the video. And if I click it again, it'll resume. You can actually have your DSLR show. So if you wanna pause it, maybe you're watching a clip or even a longer section of a part of a video and you wanna pause as you go, discuss the content, great. Now let's assume that this screen here is a webcam from your friend that you're talking to and you have the video playing up on stream. I do have a tutorial on that, link is in the top right. But now I got the Algato Amazing. Camlink 4K. Now this is a really good capture card. Currently it's pretty expensive because of price gouges, which is why I would recommend getting the Algato HD60S instead because this actually has two uses for it. Whereas this is just dedicated to getting your signal from your DSLR camera into your computer. So that's the only use that has. This, you can actually bridge the gap between two computers now which wow this is absolutely amazing now not ideal for gaming but great for everything else so if you haven't noticed by now there's two giveaways they're listed in the description on how to enter them first one is restream you get a one-year subscription to the professional plan and then you also second place it gets a one-year subscription to the standard plan uh, go grab a chance to win those link is down below use that link to sign up for free and you'll be entered into the giveaway next we have four microphones being given away so the very next video that's going to be posted on the channel is going to announce the winner of the first microphone the way you enter is this first you got to be subscribed to the channel there's no getting around that second like this video obviously third leave a comment on this video say anything but you know make it make it constructive because i'm going to judge it based on the content of the comment so the better the comment the higher chance it is of going to win and i'm going to choose my favorite comment number three you got to be joining the discord if you're not in the discord and you win the microphone you're not going to get the microphone because that's how i'm going to send it to your address that's how i'm going to get your details and that's it just make sure you're part of those four things i've got listed down in the bottom if, in case you've forgotten it each video we're going to have a new winner so stay tuned if you don't win on the next video with the announced winner don't worry you've got three more chances to win as well as the giveaway from restream don't forget to use that link down in the description supporting sponsors help support me i really do appreciate that it allows me to continue to bring giveaways to you guys such as microphones and even just plain old cash feel free to join the discord as well if you want to be entered into the giveaway for the microphone I'll see you in the next video, but until then, make something great. I think that went pretty well. Yeah.